What is this shit? What is this noise? Oh my god. I... I need to do something. Right now. Most of my audio is recorded through this shotgun microphone. It has a good build quality and a good senior quality. Except that the signal is pretty weak and some amplification must be done inside my camera. That has an awful and cheap audio system that adds a shitload of noise with a high gain setting. Of course I can connect it to my external recorder, but it will add a ton of extra work in post-production and this is not a nice run and shot solution. So instead of spending 190 bucks for the Widomic Pro, I spent 60 bucks on the Videomic Rycot, for which I will build an external amplifier to get a clean and strong signal for a perfect audio. To contain all electronics, I've asked a friend to 3D print this tiny box, on which I will mount a volume pot, in-out female jack connectors, LED housing and a power switch. Internally it will contain this circuit board, link below. This is a two-stage inverting op-amp amplifier with a variable gain given by the streamer and a variable output volume. In this configuration, the max gain is 52 decibels that will be set to 20 decibels later to avoid clipping. After soldering all components in place and choosing right cables, I soldered them to the board too. With my chaser, I've cut all the excess and with a sanding belt smoothed all edges. Here I have marked all spots where I need to make a holes on my tiny little box. Instead of drilling, I prefer to make holes with my soldering iron. The result is pretty good, except for this plastic excess. Using my sharp screwdriver, I removed it. Not bad. To make the last hole, some double side duct tape is needed. I have joined the microphone battery cover with a tiny box temporarily to make a perfectly aligned hole, through which I will pass the power cables. So, it's time to connect everything together. After stripping all cables and putting heat tubing everywhere, the first component to solder was a potentiometer. For the power indicator, I used an ultra-bright green LED with a 39 kilo ohm resistor in series. It will make a lot of light, even drawing 230 microamps. This slider switch has two independent switches inside. One will be used to cut off power to the amplifier. The second one will act as a signal bypass, when no amplification is needed. This was my Christmas present. To fix everything in place, I used a good amount of hot glue. I hope that I won't need to open the thing in the future. Looks pretty amazing. Now I need to connect the amplifier to the microphone. Yes, like this, well done! The idea is to turn everything with just one switch and share the same battery. After disassembling everything, I found out that this pin on the switch gives the power when it is turned on. So, the amplifier power cable will be soldered there. Some hot glue for protection and a clip to hold the negative wire in place. This wire is connected directly to the battery. Looks good! After assembling everything back, I have scratched all surfaces on which I will apply some glue. With the help of a clamp, I will keep them together until all glue dries out. 24 hours later, I have stripped all power cables, soldered and covered with heat tubing, put the battery inside, put the knob on the potentiometer and we are ready to go! Nah, not so fast. First, I need to revalidate the gain of the system. To do this, I need to bypass the microphone. After connecting this wire to the negative terminal, putting the battery back, turning on my PC, connecting all cables and giving ground reference to this wire connected to the negative battery terminal, we are ready to go. 
What is this shit? At the minimum volume and the max gain, this signal is completely clipped. By bypassing the amplifier, you'll see the input signal feeding directly back into my PC. By varying the trimmer, I will reduce the gain of the system to achieve a clean signal. This is the bypass one. Everything was regulated at the minimum volume. Maxing it out, I will clearly have a distorted signal, just because the input signal was too loud. Giving a minus 20 decibel input, I can have a clear 0 decibel output signal. So, instead of complete silence from my microphone, now, at least, I will hear something without noise because no gain amplification from any camera is needed. So this is the final result. Now, some real-life tests at the minimum camera gain. First, by passing the amplifier, then with. No sound editing was made. And now, to get the same volume with a 50 decibel gain, no amplifier. Thirty decibel gain with amplifier. Much cleaner. So this is the result, and you can hear me well. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.